guys, it's Cruise Mom, and so today I think we're gonna talk about forgiveness. welcome back so I think today we're gonna to talk about forgiveness um, I think there's a lot of us out there that we have people in our lives who've hurt us um, and some of us have been hurt really bad um, and sometimes these are by people who are supposed to love us or who are supposed to protect us and um, sometimes with that when that happens not sometimes it affects us it affects how we handle people it affects how we live our everyday life and um speaking from experience I, I know that this this affects every aspect of your life um you become leery of people you kind of cut yourself off from others because you just don't want to give that part of yourself to anybody um because you're just you're afraid you're going to get hurt um visitor and so I think you know with that it, when you carry all that baggage around with you um, it, it can lead to so many things it can lead to you know, what it can lead to you becoming sick um, physically mentally emotionally um, it can exhaust you and again, it can keep you from having, you know, these relationships um, that are meaningful and fulfilled. And, um, you know, it just, it, it, it hurts. It hurts. So for me, um, I don't know, I guess it was probably um, a few years ago, I was dealing with some issues and I realized that I was still harboring some you know uh, borderline hatred for a person that had wronged me and um, and they truly had wronged me it wasn't you know something that I had trumped up in my head and I uh, I realized that I was I was just not living my life the way that I needed to live my life and I my life was not happy and it was just so here's the thing with forgiveness you know forgiveness you've probably heard it before it is not for you really it's or it's not really for the other person sorry let me back up it's not for the other person it's it's for you and I had heard that a lot and I thought that this is just ridiculous you know um, but when I started my journey on and trying to forgive this one particular person who really it had really affected a lot of part of my life it had reflected you know relationships and um, you know again I just I was not happy in in a lot of things and I couldn't find happiness in a lot of things and um, so when I started this journey, um, that was the first thing that someone had told me you know, that forgiveness is, is really not about the other person, it's for you. And um, so I kind of started doing this process where I would look at the person and I do a lot about their background and I would think about things that had happened to them in their background and I would say, you know, okay, well maybe, maybe these were the things that kind of contributed to this person being the way that they were. Not excusing the behavior, but just trying to understand where the person was and why they were doing the things that they had done and why it was me, why they chose me to be that person that they took this abusive behavior out on. And, um, I remember that I just I had lost all identity I had lost you know everything about myself um, to the way that I dressed the way that I did my hair the way that um, I spoke to others and it happened over such a period of time that you know as it's happening you don't really realize it's happening that you're losing this kind of sense of self and um, when I finally got to start looking back at this person um and seeing where they were in life and really kind of peeling back those layers um i realized that the individual was a really 
just sad individual and they had just not had a life um, that really was conducive for them to have anything better in their life, to really have a relationship um, that was healthy and, um, and again, I'm not excusing the behavior, but it was just my way of processing of, you know, how to go forward and make a better me. It really was not about them. It was, you know, I have to do this for myself. And once I started doing that, um, it did, it really, really helped. And I was able to forgive the person. Now, do I want this person around me? No. Do we still see each other in events? Yeah, we do. Um, and I'm cordial, but I don't want the person around me. I don't want anything to do with the person. Um, because it, you know, I know the potential of what the person can do. I know that the person, you know, just is not someone that I need to be around personally. But uh, once that forgiveness started, um, my relationships with my children became better. My relationships with my friends became better. But most importantly, my relationship with my husband became better because I was not projecting onto my husband um, the errors of this other person. And that's another thing that forgiveness does for you is it helps you kind of realize that, you know, not everybody out there is against you. Not everybody out there is is trying to hurt you. Most people are good people. We all have our baggage and we all have things that, you know, we deal with on a daily basis. We all have our demons and our skeletons in the closet. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of great books out there on healing. Um, there's a lot of groups that you can go to, but if you're, you know, if you're stuck somewhere in life and you feel like you can't move forward and, and, and a particular person or a particular event keeps coming up, you know, evaluate it, look at it, you know, look at it for what it is and get in there and peel it back like an onion and start that process. Now, is it easy? No. Is it painful? Damn straight, it's painful. It, it's really painful. Um, Cause there's a lot of self-reflection there too, because you have to look at yourself and think, you know, what was my part in this? Now, sometimes we have no part in it. Sometimes we are truly innocent victims of, you know, heinous things. Um, but in my particular case, the case that I'm talking about, um, I did have parts of it. There were red flags that, you know, kept popping up that I was like, oh, let me bulldoze right through that. Um, so, you know, if you're in a relationship and you see these things, see them for what they are. Don't skirt over them. Don't put the rose colored glasses on and think, oh, it'll get better. Or, you know, oh, I can love this person through that. Cause that's not the case. It, you know, it's just not. And the signs kind of start early, you know, they, they start pretty early, but, um, as you can see, guys, sorry, we have a full house today. The kids the kids are home and the hubs is home and I'm trying to get the video out because I wanted to make sure that I got this up today. So, um, but again, there are a lot of books out there. Um, you know, if you're not a person that really wants to kind of go out and talk to people, uh, if you're a Christian person, you know, you definitely, your pastors are actually, um, they're capable of taking care of these kind of things. And if they're not, they can lead you to the direction of somebody who can. Your doctor can help you with this. If you don't have insurance, there are free programs out there, um, you know, in the community to kind of help with these things. And like I said, there's a lot of great books out there to help you kind of go through this process of forgiving. And I promise you, you know, once you do that process, it's painful, it hurts, um, and it doesn't happen all at once. I mean, sometimes you get to parts where you're just like, I can't move past this. Um, but once you can kind of start moving past it, life opens up in a whole other way that you are able to see the blessings. You're able to receive love from people and accept it, Ex accept the love, which that's, that's probably the key thing is being able to accept love from people and not think that there's some ulterior, uh, motive or something, you know, waiting for that other shoe to drop. So that's my free advice Friday. Um, forgiveness is for you. It's not for the other person. Sorry. Um, 
and I hope you guys like these. I'm not sure what my next one's gonna be about, but I'm gonna get this edited and uh, wrap this up because they're getting wild in here. So, all right guys, God bless and we'll see you later.